This is Bumper to Bumper TV. It wasn't that long ago that Kia's official line was to continue offering entry-level vehicles that appeal to a wide segment of the market. That changed as the brand found its buyers wanted more than a well-appointed mid-size sedan. A change which gave birth to the Cadenza, an upscale platform that can appeal to that kind of craving. A close look reveals it shares the same platform architecture of the Hyundai Azera as a step-up vehicle. At 195.5 inches in length, it creates a larger shadow than the midsize Optima. A lot of that is taken up with front and rear overhang, since the wheelbase is only 112 inches. For the driver and passengers, that equals an interior space experience, which means plenty of front seat space with 45 inches of legroom, a capacity that is repeated in the back seat, eliminating the second class status those passengers usually experience. Those riders also get to enjoy individual seat warmers. From the first time a driver sits behind the wheel, it is clear the Cadenza is not ashamed of being a luxury offering. High-end features such as electronic parking brakes, steering wheel heaters, and blind spot detection systems are easy to find and operate. Even though the Cadenza comes in both premium and limited trim levels, the power plant is the same. A 3.3 liter V6 delivering 293 horsepower and 255 foot-pounds of torque that runs on regular unleaded fuel. A six-speed automatic front wheel transaxle is the only transmission available. The independent four-wheel coil suspension system delivers a smooth ride and handling is crisp under normal driving conditions. With the Cadenza, Kia has an offering to compete in the luxury sports sedan segment. It is part of what appears to be a deliberate move to have something for nearly every kind of auto buyer. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think. So email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.